Hello YouTube fans. I wanted to shoot another YouTube video of my 1794 Liberty Cap large scent. I've shot this before in the cardboard holder and talked about the edge lettering but I wasn't able to actually display the edge lettering. So in this video I wanted to actually show where it says 100 for a dollar. Actually I'm upside down. Um, there's the word dollar. Let me get it to 100. Okay, there's there's the first word, one, and the edge lettering. One hundred for a dollar with a little wheat symbol at the end there at the end of dollar but I told everybody that the edge lettering was in there you just couldn't see it in the cardboard holder and my wife talked me into taking it out of the holder to show the edge lettering <laughs> so I did and I could always put it back in there but I really like uh, seeing it myself it's hard to believe that they could have done this in 1494 that's 226 years ago that they had the technology to do that but these weren't minted how they were minted today they were made in a steam press so that's my 1794 cap liberty cap large scent with the word liberty the liberty cap lady liberty's head and the stick down here on the lower right at five o'clock and when you flip it over it says one cent and united states of america uh, one cent is surrounded by the wheat wreath and at the very bottom at six o'clock you can see the fraction one over a hundred that means it's one one hundredth of a dollar this was just the second year that the mint uh, minted large cents the very first one was 1793 and that's what they would have looked like in 1793 with the flowing hair type it was kind of a crazy obverse design but what people really didn't like was the chain reverse because it reminded them of slavery uh, so they took away the uh, the chain around one cent and replaced it with a wreath that would have been the later part of 1793 this is just a replica or a copy if this coin was real it would probably be a half a million to a million dollars but I just wanted to show you an example of what a 1793 large cent would look like it obviously has, has a crazy obverse and people took exception to the controversial uh, reverse of the chain so this is a 1794 this would have been the 1793 and I just wanted to prove to everybody the edge lettering 100 for a dollar was there there were six different varieties of the 1794 um, there was head of 93 head of 94 head of 94 and low relief uh, exact head of 1795 a starred reverse which as you can see start out at 14,500 in the absolute worst grade and work their way up to 225,000 um, that's a starred reverse very very rare and then there was one other type and that was the no fraction bar where there wouldn't have been a fraction bar between one uh, and a hundred on the fraction and this would have been the 1793 flowing hair with the wreath uh, reverse and the original one with the chain reverse would have looked like this like my copy my replica the chain reverse so that's my 1793 copy or replica and my 1794 liberty cap large scent this one is genuine about a 700 hundred dollar coin with the exception of the word scent having the scratch through it it would be a 700 hundred dollar coin but he sold me this in about good grade, so I got it for $245. Basically saving me $500 just because of the word cent having to scratch through it. So, what a deal. This one I got for 5 bucks. It's just a replica. It was in his bargain box. So everybody have a safe uh, 4th of July. Uh, have an excellent day. And thank you for watching. And everybody stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye.